Hello everyone, Kingslayer Kosha here, and welcome back to Bastion. In the last the part, we just went the Warp District. Many straight got shooters our on their way here. Found ourselves to the Bastion, and found out we were the only people that survived, alongside the old man, an old man. The Breakers used to come here to talk the Bastion. Us. Used to play a little game. And now see we're who bust exploring more areas to see if we shots. can find out our way forward. Right now. We're here at the Breakers focused. Barracks, he's on. and this is a and he's gimmick, off. well not really a gimmick, but this is a thing in this game, where basically there's challenges in this game, using all of your Perfect weapons. shot just happens in a flash. So, you'll be required to do things a certain way for the challenge. Well, the challenge will require you to do certain tasks, and if you meet the requirements, you'll get items. It's all the right solid performance. So the first item will always be a piece, something that correlates to the weapon that you that the challenge correlates to. So, like the first challenge got me something stringy. Like, third place will get you the item that correlates to the challenge that you can upgrade your weapon for. The second item is another material for another weapon. And the final item that you get is a skill. And to get the skills, you pretty much need to play this game, uh, play the challenge perfectly. You can't beat one goof up, otherwise... You're pretty much gonna re uh, redo it. And some of the challenges can actually get kind of annoying, but for the most part in this playthrough, I didn't have too much trouble. There were a couple of trouble spots, like here, of course, with the Breaker's Barracks, and some later ones, but they're not too bad. There's actually a way around a lot of the challenges. I almost don't believe it when he says he passed the Breaker's Challenge. You almost don't believe me. Okay, it's all I can do. Anyways. But yeah. There's ways around the challenges. The workman ward. And the I'll explain to keep my the methods for here. how I pretty much beat these challenges. Because some of these challenges can actually be quite, cha can be quite challenging. Well, it's in the name, so. Yeah. You gotta earn it. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Anyways, welcome to the Workman Ward. Ought to be a core down Here we're gonna get ourselves a new streets. weapon. But which one? He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. So, head over to the bottom left. And you'll find Come yourself back. the War Machine. Just, just about anything. Set Less powerful than the kill it's hammer, but you can get in more attacks with it. So, she, though this weapon doesn't have, I don't personally find this weapon too great if only because I find it a lot more riskier to actually play, because I feel like you're going to have to play a lot more up close and personal with this weapon if you want to actually get some good damage in. They say even the most rambunctious squirts. You can throw game. it though, but squirts don't make the best of friends. Personally, I don't find it too great. Uh, no too the reliable. Core here. There are better Unless weapons. The kid got something for his trouble. In my opinion, and I'll but get to those better weapons just later. Just don't know when to quit. But anyways, I also got another skill which allows me to summon another one of these squirts to fight for me. Anyways, right now I'm stuck using the War Machete and the, biggest dump in the town. Banger Peter, which, Scumbag I mean, the War Machete isn't a terrible Some weapon, but it's not still something I'm off the city's comfortable with. Trash. So, and there he is. Scumbag. The scumbags, that's the other type of scumbags, by the way. Gershel. The first type that you saw me fighting was shooting their crap at you. The second one slides and leaves a trail. Actually, no, this is the calamity. Third. Ain't Actually, no, that's just the three types then. Disposition. Because that one just moves rent. Because I guess that second type just moves around in its own pattern. This one can. This one just charges you. They always and it's not said hard to fight normal. 
well. When we get to the ch one of the challenges, you'll understand why this enemy can be kind of like a pain. Gas fellas are hiding it from him. He heads for the east side, where windbags Head down there, and the there's mostly force. enemies there. Beat everyone up, and you'll get something sharp, which is an material that you use to upgrade your war machete. The heavy material, the something heavy material, is used to upgrade your kale hammer. And you're something Somehow stringy upgrades the bow. Standing. And as you see, you'll see me getting beaten up by uh, these uh, these gas fellows, but when you get yourself thrown in the air like that, you just press the A button to actually put yourself back on your feet. Like I wasn't doing that when I got hit, but there's that's something you can use to get yourself back into Inside your feet. The forge, you're gonna want to do that can fine -tune those instruments to save heads. yourself. But anyways, here's the forge to upgrade your materials, and the blue gems that you get. Kids, lifelong friends, looking fit. They're gonna to be keep used to get. No, they're, they're gonna be used for two things. One is to upgrade your weapons. With a good length. The second Miska, correlates to one of like new the. Again. Bastion facilities that we can get later down the road. Corey, but for right now, the, the only thing that we can use those again. new gems for is Up to upgrade our weapons. Gas for the foreman used to live, tending to his flock. Just keep heading forward here, and this will be the way to the board. Or as I thought, or as I thought. Or a MacGuffin, as you want, as some people like to call it. God, I hate messing around. I hate, I hate. No I really don't like the war machine because like kids wonder the same thing. You don't have, like, you don't have that much um, range. I mean, it's about the same range as the Kale Hammer, so I guess there's that. And but there it is. You just don't but it's have. Down tight in an you just, I just don't feel like you'll be able to maximize damage in time. A blustery old fool. Anyways, keeping his fellas in check, almost like he's showboating for the crowd. I got a battle with the gas fellow, and you only have to kill uh, the one that's red. The one that's the ones that are green are just there watching. The one you have to beat is just the red one. So I believe once you get the red one, and now there's a new marshal in town. Everyone just. Respects you. Because that one was just the leader of the, the gas fellows, wrong, and you killed that the gas fellow, so now they follow you as their He's leader. ready to go, and his ticket out's right where he started. Anyways, so find your way back to the Skyway. You don't have to worry about uh, the Four crumbling beneath you, and here's me just getting in a habit of actually searching all around the place to see if I missed anything. Like I said, do that a lot because missing weapons is actually pretty easy to do. He comes back materials. just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack, the monuments calling yep, for it. Back and the windbags used to be all right, the then the calamity the took the floor out from under him. And now we gave birth to a squirt. Kid does it again. Squirt lives now. Only Faye he decides what we build next. And now we have another core. And another facility can be made. And I'm gonna get back my kale hammer because ain't much kid can frankly, handle with hammer and bow. I just don't like the that much. But now we have the ability to make. A lot of things like need fixing but now up I made this the world, board because and we can start right here. I think it's a very important. The forge is very important if you want to upgrade your weapons. And some of the challenges can be made extremely easy or easier. Picked up traces of other cores while the kid the was out. So upgrade the, the forge when you pot. get a chance. Place hoarded all sorts of fine areas. Anyways, our next the area is the, the melting pot. Well, actually, we got two options: the melting pot and 
the Sundown Path, so we're going to the Melting Pot first. In better days, the Melting Pot was sealed tighter than the skin on the squirt. And drop on a bunch of squirts. Yeah, so for right now, this run's gonna be pretty much a self-explanatory run. It's gonna be pretty the easy. Calamity. It had to be and that's something weeks. I do like this game for. And something that's really interesting is that you can make the and game as hard or like as difficult as you heart. want it to be at any time. And right there, we got something nasty. That's an upgrade for our Fang of Eater. So next time we come back to upgrade our weapons, we can upgrade the Fang Repeater here if we ever so choose, but I don't do that. cuts down every stab weed like there's gonna be a Personally, prize for it. I don't find it. much use out of many of the ranged weapons. I don't find too many of them to be all that useful. And here's me just destroying all of the stink weeds or stab weeds. Dank weeds, I don't know. <laughs> If there's a core, nice. he figures it ought to be deeper like, this down. This level overall, in terms of exploration, is pretty short core because you can see the right there. Fancy cages. Because most of this level is set here in this area, and this area is essentially just one big brawl. Some of the stuff lying around is downright dangerous. And then right there we have the trip mine, which is a decent ability early on, but it gets pales in comparison to one of the later abilities we get. It's just I'm breaking everything. It throws a switch. Yeah. Now what could possibly go wrong? When you hit the switch, that's when this challenge starts to begin. I recommend what you start destroying everything it before. Out. The cage um, starts the switch, the just so that you don't so have to deal with the weeds. All kid can do at this point is wait. All you're doing is waiting and fighting. Ship start falling in. And it's gas fellows. Fortunately, some spring to the kids to show up and they actually decide to fight alongside you, so judging by the not of the possible. Cage, it's gonna take a little while. Then again, this fight overall is terrible. Just keep. Keep whacking away. Just keep whacking away with the hammer, and honestly, it's not too and it's not too big a deal. But of course, the challenge won't really come in until much later because there's something I'm missing, or then if there's something Scum that I need don't more to actually get this challenge on the road. So unfortunately, for right now, this run's gonna be. Pretty easy Even for the time being, so there's not too much to really say. Birdie pop that mean old formula. Like I said, the challenge doesn't really start until we get to a certain point. And At I'll explain rate, why I did things, things this way. Maybe 30. Hard to tell. Uh, when we get to the get to that facility that I'm gonna be back for to later. But for right now, we're just keep fighting. Territorial now we actually have gas fellows on our side. Giant sports are trying to kill us. Well, then a ship and a free sample trip, shows up. Um, trip mines to hopefully get them off my back. It ain't all bad. Bottle of spices. Find some spices from the motherland. Tax free. One thing's for sure. The squirt cage is awful. The squirt bender. Uh, and these jerks. Red turrets have short range and all they do is shoot flamethrowers, so they're actually not too bad, just stay away from them and it's actually a scene to be sure. just shoot at them with range weapons. But yeah, this is pretty much the rest of the level for the time being, so there's not really too much to talk about. But yeah, I managed to get this playthrough done. A few moments left, and the core goes free. Ten, and nine, 
call to start with him pretty soon. Seven. I'm actually trying to get Give this down for you to crank down as uh, fast as possible. Because I have the play for I just need to do the course push within reach. Reach. So there's that. Done. I just finished one of my uh, internship, so that was nice. Actually, I got a couple of nice things from... from one specific thing, I think it was a gift card, which was nice for them. So, it wasn't all... I mean, it wasn't bad in general, it was just something that came out of it. Ain't no easy way out of this mess. Yep. Finally got the core. He's got it. Take just that. gotta get to the nearest barge. And... Well, we're locked out, but fortunately we can take this... Skyrail back out.